I'm on my way to interview an owner of an interesting car. I'm here talking to Colin about this beautiful British racing greenish Toyota Corolla. So how long have you had this car? Uh, I bought it back in uh, 1992. Right. So I've had it for a long time. Was that a road car? And you, you no, it? it was a rally car. We bought it off uh, Andrew Vibe in, in Shepparton in Victoria. Right. And, um, he, was, he built the car originally. He did the Victorian Rally Championship. I think he I think he may have even won um, around a, a, won the Victorian Rally Championship with it. So um, it was a, a pretty pretty quick driver. Yeah. So the engine is this the <coughs> engine that a Toyota Corolla would come with, or is it something you? Uh, well, it basically uh, K35 um, with um, the the bonnet and the grille to match. Uh, uh, genuine Japanese living. Right. Uh, the engines uh, was a um, 2T um, twin cam 2T uh, a, a couple of years ago I upgraded it with a uh, with a 3T three, three block so the you know, 800cc okay yeah, yeah. So you're still using a twin cam head yeah, yeah. Mm. is that what running twin webbers uh, it's got the Lordos on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 2T uh, uh, transmission with uh, Hollinger gears, a set of Hollinger gears in it, um, and a 5.1 dip. Right. Is that a limited slip dip? Yeah. Yeah. So, with such a short wheelbase car, how do you find the handling? Um, probably, you know, it, Having loose springs on the back, uh, we're not the best setup. But, you know, we've got a fairly good um, setup with the with the suspension, and yeah, it's been it's yeah, it's good. So it's a fun yeah. car to drive. Or? It's it's really fun to drive. Yeah, yeah. It tends to be fairly uh, oversteered top situation. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, a lot of fun. Um, and very, very reliable, like uh, it's, I'm on my third logbook at the moment and it's never had a, a mechanical DNA. Really? In, in the, you know, probably about well over 70 events. <laughs> I uh, have so triumphs and I can't say anything like that. Um, um, so it's very reliable. Right. It's been, been a wonderful car. I do own a Toyota on it. Hasn't been that reliable lately, did it, right? That's another yeah. story. Um, so what about it, the brakes? What, what, how do they? Uh, it's got disc brakes on the back. Right. Um, um, adjustable ice valve and that sort of thing. Bigger, bigger right. brakes than normal. Than normal. Okay. So when, when you were looking at, at buying a rally car, what drove? What sort of? took you to a Toyota Corolla rather than a, some other sort of car? Uh, I guess I'm a bit of a toy. I used to work for Toyota for a long time and um, you know, I know the product's pretty reliable. And um, yeah, I think How do you that go was for a, parts for this then? Um, it is getting harder. Yeah. What, what part like ball joints or starters? <coughs> There's aftermarket stuff available, um, engine parts, and you can still buy out of America, you can buy a lot of uh, 2T, 3T engine bits. And, right. um, there's still parts available, but body panels, and, like this bonnet and the grill, uh, 
nearly impossible. Right, right. You know, if I smashed it, I probably wouldn't be able to replace it with it. I have yeah, enormous so. trouble with my Toyota in parts. I just haven't been able to find a place to get parts. Um, yeah, you've, you've really, you know, like occasionally there'll be a, a grill will pop up on the internet, but you've got to be super quick <laughs> to grab it because yeah. of, you know, yeah. uh, a few of the guys that I know that have got. Uh, this set up on their car, they're always saying, oh, you know, do you want to sell the grill or you want to sell the bonnet? <laughs> they're going to buy the car for the grill. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, very, it's a, it's a bit of a shame really because... Yeah. Um, there's one they, thing about British cars is there's a, an enormous remanufacturing thing happening in England and I can buy just about anything for my old Triumphs, but not for my Toyota. Yeah. I think Toyota's beginning to get the message about uh, historic cars, like I know that they're, they're producing some bits now for AE86 Corolla and, right. and the Supra, um, but it's very limited, yeah. and um, I guess a big problem with with the Japanese, whether it be Toyota or, or Mitsubishi or Datsun or whatever, they've got so many models and, yeah. and so many, many variations, yeah. like it's, yeah. it's just enormous, you know, but it's a shame that they don't uh, put a little bit more effort into the into the cars that people still want to run and restore. And yeah. So what's the future for this? Is Are you someone that loves their car and, and remembers it through their experiences and therefore you're going to keep it till you die? Or is it a car that someone comes along and says, I'll give you some money, and you go, yeah, no worries. Well, I don't know. I'm a, it's a hard question. I, you know, I've been rallying. I started rallying when it, in, in 1966 or something <laughs> like that. Okay, you've and seen I, a lot of change. <laughs> and um, it's a good sport, and I enjoy it. And now, of course, I, you know, I'm in, at my age, I'm not very competitive anymore, yeah. but I still enjoy it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It just, yeah. just doesn't matter. I, I you don't care. Hard to even looking at the timesheet. It just doesn't matter. No, no. It, it just to get out, like a rally to get out into the forest and, and drive as quickly as you can on a strange road you've yeah. never been on before um, without damage in the car or get to the other end. It's, it's a, it's it never cool leaves thing. you. Um, I hadn't done any motor rallies for years. Yeah. And I entered that Southern Cross event from went Sydney to Coffs Harbour. Yeah. And we had a night stage in Kempsey. Yeah. And when I'd done most of my rallying it was at night. Yeah. And I remember sitting there and the guy starts counting five, four, you know. And I looked across at my navigator, I flicked the headlights on and the driving lights all come on. And we're about 21 again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it was wonderful. Yeah, I'm, it is. It's it's really it's really good. And, and as I said, I don't really bother with how how quick or fast or just you know, finish the event. There's probably one reason why um, you know the cars never really had any major da damage, you know, yeah. so they managed to sort of keep it all together and uh, keep it maintenance up to it. That's, that's the key to make it. Yeah. Right. Well, now, now I have to ask this one. Going by your name, Colin, and your second name, is there a Scottish ancestry there? Uh, yes, way, way back. Way, way back. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks yeah. very much for that interview. No, that's fine. Bye for now.